Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. This will be our last list comprehension tutorial. We're going to learn how to use multiple or nested for loops in a uh, list comprehension. Before I get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Keep me motivated to keep these tutorials coming. So let's get started. Let's create a list. It's going to be represented by A, and we're going to have one, two, and three. All right. Now let's do uh, another list. We're going to B represents another list of, uh, let's go four, five, and six. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, loop through the first one and then loop through the second one and add the numbers together. All right. So uh, let's create another empty list where we can store our values after we run the list comprehension. So um, let's go ahead and run the list comprehension. So D is equal to C dot append, and I'm going to use I plus uh, K, and I'm going to say 4I in A and 4K in B, we are going to run this comprehension. So we'll call C, and let's talk about what happened here. All right, first off, we in the previous tutorials, we saw how I use append to append a new value to a very existing list, which we have right here. And I do uh, 4i in a, all right, so we're iterating through the first list that's represented by a, and then we iterate through the second list represented by b with the 4k in b. So then we take i and add it to k and append it to our list. So if you look, we got 1 plus 4 is 5, 1 plus 5 is uh, 6, 1 plus 6 is 7, and so on. So this would go 2 plus 4 is 6, 2 plus 5 is 7, 2 plus 6 is 8. All right, so that's how that works. Um, so just so you have an understanding of what this would look like, if we didn't use list comprehension, it would look something like this. For I in A, tab over 4, K in B, don't forget your colons, tab over, tab over, and then C dot append, I plus K. And then we'll call C. There you go. Now, our list got a lot longer. But this is what it would look like. As you can see, this is a lot easier to write. It might be a little bit more confusing at first, but once you get a hang of it, it's pretty simple. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share the video. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.